Me and him had a 30 minute wrestle and I think I won. I beat him one handed. I got bit last Monday by a 10 foot two alligator in Galveston. And uh, see after seven days it's healing up nicely because I took good care of it. But other than that, I still got my finger, still got my hand, still got my arm. In terms of size, uh Tell me a little bit about his size. Is he one of the bigger ones? This, or? this is one of the biggest alligators in Houston. He is 11 foot seven. The biggest alligator I've actually captured was 12 foot seven here in Crosby. And uh, he's just a, about a foot smaller. Okay. And, and what do they eat to get that big out there in the creeks and bayous well, and so forth? Everything they can get their mouth on. Uh, these alligators are eat uh, bullfrogs, uh, snakes, lizards. Uh, most alligators eat a bunch of other alligators, so right now it's pig breeding season and all the little baby alligators that are in the water are just food for this guy and it makes it easy for him to get the food because they're already in the water with him. He doesn't have to chase it down. Uh, they'll swim up to him not knowing that they're going to get eaten and uh, he'll just go ahead and take care of them. Easy snack. And in terms of the... Uh and in terms of the dangers to the community, well, is he likely to attack somebody or no, it's not his food source? Unexpectedly, if somebody was to come up on this alligator, he could grab them, uh, not knowing that, uh, that they're humans. Uh, he could be under the water and they could be trying to catch turtles, small kids catching turtles or uh, small fish in the bayou. The alligator could hear the fish splashing and unexpectedly grab the child yes a, a child or an adult does that matter for that matter um, and I got alligator get this big uh, they're they hide from humans that's why they get this big they are afraid of humans they're not attack animals they really don't attack people they won't run up on the bank and grab your leg and uh, grab your dog uh, if your dog is by itself at nighttime he may grab your dog an alligator this size but an alligator that's five foot six foot uh, they eat small, smaller things, things that are already dead. They like their food dead and stinky. And so an alligator like this, he, he waits for something roadkill to die and he may come up on the road and eat the roadkill off on the, in the ditch. But uh, they're not attack animals. Uh, but if a child was to go down to the bayou and uh, was trying to catch turtles and accidentally slipped and fell in the water and made a big splash, it could startle the alligator and think that, hey, this is something that's big enough to fit in my mouth. This is something I can grab. Uh, but other than that, they're afraid of humans. So realizing it may be a human child, he may stay weary and just go ahead and hide. But other than that, uh, he might not just be afraid of people at all. He may, somebody could have been feeding this alligator and this alligator is used to being around people and then he could potentially grab somebody uh, thinking mistakenly that they have food for him and not have food and so he'd come all the way up to him to get the food and uh, say, okay, well, you don't have no food. Well, you're going to be my food. But other than that, uh, they eat uh, dead things. Uh. So this alligator here probably weighs about 1,200 pounds, maybe 1,300 pounds. And I captured him by myself today with one hand. Come on, baby boy. Come Tell on. me a little bit about what you're gonna do with the gator. Well, this alligator is actually gonna get tied to the tree. I'm gonna put a pond out for him. Gator Country will come out here with one of their enclosed trailers to protect him from the sun. Uh, I can transport him short distances uh, right now because it's hot. Uh, I put wet towels on him to keep him wet and comfortable uh, and not let him get overheated. Uh, they'll come with an enclosed trailer and spray water on him and he'll go to gator country and he'll get to live out the rest of his life. Um, let me pull him over this way, away from the back of the trailer real quick. I am a nuisance control hunter. Okay. Basically, uh, I, my Facebook page is Bayou City Gator Savers. I save these gators from the public. Uh, if they were off the endangered species list, which they are, but they're still protected, kids would go out there and start shooting their eyeballs out with BB guns, thinking that they can kill an alligator by shooting them in the eyeballs. Uh, a lot of the other hunters, they want a pair of boots or they want some alligator meat. They would just start shooting every alligator in sight, and then there wouldn't be, they'd be back on the endangered species list. <clears throat> he seems to be, he got a small defect in one of his eyes over here. Did you say a male or a female? He is a male. He is definitely a male. 
Most females get nine foot tops. Uh, there have been a few recorded females at 11 foot, but uh, most of females only grow up to be nine foot long. And uh, this one here, he's definitely a male. He is 11 foot seven, pure muscle, pure muscle. He must weigh about 1,300 pounds. And uh, like I said, I, I catch about 250 alligators a year. And this actually makes number 30 for the month.